Welcome back. We're talking about the Slim Fit Boiler by Wow McLean. In this segment, we're going to be going in depth in the solar control interface and menus. Make sure you have your boiler manual with you because there's a lot of good information to help guide you in the navigation of the controls. And here we go. Now we're going to go a little bit more in depth with the solar control interface and menus. Again, we're on our home screen. Touch the boiler. That's going to get to our configuration screen. Now, what's nice about the configuration screen is we have all our temperatures and our uh, operation live, whatever's happening now. As you see here, we have our inlet, our boiler outlet, flue temperature, or considered stack, domestic hot water, whether it's open or closed, calling or not, any outside inputs, along with our outdoor temperature, as you see here, it's not hooked up, so it shows in an open position, and our flame detection if the boiler was firing. On top of that menu, we have our set points what the boiler is shooting for, and how it's uh, figuring the modulation. We have our pumps. What pump would be operating right now with the call? And we have our modulation, what the RPMs are at the time. So this is a real-time screen. Now, just like any other screen, if we need to navigate across, we always have the arrow in the, in the upper right-hand corner to go back. At any time, in the upper left-hand corner, we have the home screen. Pressing that allows us to go back to the home screen. Back to our configuration screen. Along the bottom, we have four other areas of menus we can enter. One, previous segments, we've talked about configuration. This allows us to go into central um, heat configuration, where we can adjust our set point temperature. So if you don't like, it's defaulted. You can adjust it to where you would like it. Now, if you need to get in deeper parameters, such as maybe your uh, input temperatures or maybe your hysteresis adjustments, that's going to tell you you're locked out. And we need to unlock the screen by pressing our lock and enter the secret code, which is SF. Don't tell anybody. Hit OK. As you can see, now we are unlocked. And we can enter these areas and make adjustments as we need to. As always, be sure to have your boiler manual with you to make these adjustments to be sure you're making the correct operation changes. Again, back screen, adjust other configurations if we need to, domestic hot water, demand priority, even modulation configuration. So you can see we can change a lot of the different parameters here in this screen. So let's back up one more time. And that was the configuration menu. Now we can also go into the operation menu, which is going to allow us to enable or disable the burner. It gives us our normal temperatures. It gives us our sources and other information. And also allows us to see what the, the boiler firing rates are. Diagnostics. Now that's kind of my favorite area. Right now we're taking a look at the uh, a analog I.O. status of all the temperatures. Back in the diagnostics, we can also go to digital. Anything that's highlighted is a closed signal. Anything that's not is an open signal. And you can see here it tells you on or off. We can also, in this particular configuration, go into diagnostic tests. So let's back up here. Oh, one other thing in diagnostics, excuse me. We can also enter burner diagnostics. We can go through a pump test. We can go through a, uh, a stat test. And we can adjust the RPMs to confirm that the combustion blower is working properly. Just want to review that with you. Again, let's back out of there. One more time. Now we can also go into details. Details is going to give us history. And we can go into history and take a look at all the different snapshots that we took. And again, at any given time, in the upper le uh, left-hand corner, 
you can press the, press the camera and it'll actually take a snapshot of what you're looking at and store it. Now, you can download these snapshots by your jump drive inserting it in the bottom of the solar control. Now, you have to remove the front cover to access that port in the bottom of the solar control's interface. And that'll work fine. Now, let's back up from here. We can go into diagnostics. And again, the diagnostics is also going to give us real time of what took place. Again, back to analog, what's going on at the time it locked out, different temperatures. Analysis, and again, we just talked about history of when we lock outs. We can go back home. And again, you can go uh, in more depth, or if you don't understand, please visit us at www.wild-mclean.com for more information, and make sure you read your manual thoroughly. Thank you, guys.